Greetings once again, my dear friends. Welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Okay. Lady Stephanie wanted to see me. And I believe Divish has troubles as well. Divish isn't up yet. And I'm not going to be breaking into his room. Lady Stephanie is in bed. I will not wake her. I could, but I will not. going to pickpocket a guard from the front. That would be silly. Hmm. So, Robard, how are we? God be with you. Okay. I have some trophies. Show me. So many. My lad, you're like the smiting right hand of God. It was just one. One one cumin ear. Um Teach me how to like sword better, sword please. Certainly. I'd like to practice the basics. Alright. But it will cost you. Now, pay close attention. Okay. You got more sword, sword to teach? Certainly. I'm interested in more advanced techniques. Wouldn't you rather learn the basics first? Not really. Well, I'll think it over. What about maces, I'd like to get bludgeons? Fighting with a mace. Certainly. I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it will cost you. Now, pay close attention. And because you do defense as well. Can you teach me how to defend myself <coughs> in combat? Certainly. I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it will cost you. Now, pay close attention. What is Henry's defense? Three. Okay. Hmm. Sword could go up to five pretty soon. Pickpocketing? Oh! I like secret pockets. Extra reward for killing people. Um, no. That's not what I mean at all. Mm. 
Stable master. Is there anything interesting going on around these parts? Interesting? Not really. Sad, more like. You know, I always liked the Neuhof horses best. They had, well, a spark to them. Old Smeal was killed in that raid, and I'm afraid the stud farm will never recover without him. God be with you. Ah, Lady Stephanie. You're awake. Excellent. Just the person who wanted to see me. God save. Can I help you with anything? I heard you wanted to talk to me, my lady. It's true. I need something from you. How can I help? My cousin, young Sophie, is going to be wed. It will be an entry into a new life, and I want everything to be perfect for her. I'm looking for a few things to give her as a gift. And you're going to find them for me. Oh, Why am I? Why me? <sighs> Normally I'd let the Chamberlain take care of it, but he doesn't have any taste. I can't trust him <laughs> with this. And I've been told no task is too challenging for you. Is that not true? Okay. It will be my honour, my lady. I need you to pick up an ornamental <clears throat> from the <clears throat> for Sophie. Wine from a merchant in Ratai and a roan from the stable in Ujix. Who am I supposed to pick up the wine from? From Conrad Hagen in Ratai. He's the only person in the whole region who can supply a genuinely good wine. And believe me, I know what I'm talking about. Here you go. That should be enough. 85 groschen for wine. And the ornamental crown? I had the engravers in Sassau make it, but now they've written to say it will take a while longer. That just won't do. The wedding is almost upon us, and I need it. Go and see Master Joanim Slesky and pick it up. Sassau. You said uh, a roan from Ujix. Precisely. It's a beautiful animal. Wait till you see it. Dietrich said he'd ride it here himself, but... I can already imagine how he'll end up killing himself on that horse. But you, so young and vigorous. Um, yeah, I can do all that. Wine, a roan, and a crown. I can handle that. Thank you, Henry. I just wish there were others here I could trust so well. Take care. Okay, uh, what about Sir Divish? You up, Sir Divish? He's probably praying. Very devout man is Sir Divish. Not praying. If Stephanie's up, surely he's up. Not that they share a bedroom or anything, but it just would seem reasonable that he would be up if the rest of absolutely everybody is as well. Oh well. Not sure why he'd be in the kitchen, though. God, go away. Up here? No? Hmm. Divish. If he's not up and out and about, then 
and you can sod right off. I don't think I'd even be able to pick the lock to his bedroom door anyway. I will just wash up. Have a look at these horses. Robards. Just random horse. Divish's horse. And another horse. Unnamed generic horse. You are up, you bastard. Come here. The Lord be praised. What brings you to me? God save, my lord. I hope things are peaceful in your fiefdom. Peace? Peace is rare in these times. But right now I'm more troubled by politics than war. What's wrong? The monastery stalled the purchase of stone and everything connected to the building project. <laughs> and now I find out it's because of the quality of the stone blocks. Or so they say. I don't believe a word of it. It looks like profiteering to me. Hmm. What do they say is wrong with the stone? Supposedly, there was an accident when one of the stone blocks broke loose, fell, and killed someone. But the quarry master swears by all the saints it isn't possible. He says he sends only the best stone, and I believe him. He's reliable and an experienced quarry. Profiteering? What's the monastery trying to accomplish? To lower the price. What else? We've already given them a fair price, and they still delay with payment. Or worse. Worse? You mean they'll stop paying completely? You could put it that way. They're looking for an excuse to back out of the contract, and find another quarry where they'll be able to secure a more favorable deal. And is anyone dealing with the problem? Well, my chamberlain is in charge of it, as always. But all he's done is send them a letter. He says putting more pressure on the monastery could provoke them. Those are his words. So there's nothing else that can be done? I don't know. I've been thinking about taking a more direct approach. But I expect the Chamberlain won't even hear of it. He'll just keep on sending them polite letters and hoping that does the trick. I could help with this. I sense a quest. Do you think this is a job for you? You aren't even in my service. I do serve Sir Radzik. He knows he can rely on me when he needs me. And I've never let him down. This is true. So do you want to go to Sassau and ask about the stone? I may not work for you, but the dude I work for is your mate. So, yeah. Yeah, I'll do it. Good. I'd like you to ask about the stone and keep your ears open. See if they aren't talking about another quarrel. I'll do my best. Hopefully they'll talk to me. They will. You ride in my name. So don't forget to remind them of it. Good luck. Alrighty. Now we have jobs to do. But, uh... First... Don't move a finger. Surrender. You'll have to answer for your law breaking. Go ahead and gather your strength. You'll need it. <laughs> Do it. My patience is running out. Oh, right. Are you That's it. <laughs> you were seen thieving. This definitely won't come cheap. You learned crime doesn't pay. But, but I've, I've been given a secret task, I have. You're making a serious mistake. If only you knew what you just got yourself into. 
This won't end well for you. Do you think I'm so stupid as to fall for such a fairy tale? Not a chance. Oh, all right Done. then. Here's your coin then. <clears throat> all right. <clears throat> Just make sure it doesn't happen again. Hand me over those stolen goods. What stolen goods? I didn't get anything off you. Just want his key, that's all. Ah, bugger it. I'll deal with that later. For now. Red him. Heading to Sasau. Do you get to Sass out from um, Townberg? Okay. So either through Mehayed or Ladachko. But I should probably go and see what the deal is at the quarry first. <coughs> Just in case, in case of what, I don't know. Anything to sell that's actually worth buying? Probably not. Although I could use a couple of those and a couple of those probably. Hmm. Let's haggle. Let's a talk about bit. the price. Well, we can try it. You think I'm made of money? I can't afford three twenty. Is this enough? Come now, just a little more, and we have a deal. Three oh five. How about two ninety five? 
Oi, that would do it. Alrighty. Okay, well, I can't talk to that quarryman. <coughs> the blacksmith, what about you? Good day to you. What do you need? Um. May the Lord watch over you. Probably bugger all, because you've got the same inventory as your assistant. And you've got nothing else to say. Okay. Jake Piper. But he's got nothing to say for himself either. None of these chumps have anything to say for themselves. Oh, Rupert. Rupert. Talk to me, Good Rupert. To you. Ha ha. Divish mentioned you've been having one or two problems. Well, he's not wrong. Next to these rumors going around, my stone blocks are just sitting here. Or lying. So what happened with the stone? A beast broke off one and fell on someone. And they blame it on the quality of the stone. Ha! I bet they were too drunk to see straight. And <coughs> is it possible that... It's not. I sent them the best stone. It would be a sin to cut corners to try and make money from the house of God. I'm sorry you have so many worries. I hope it all ends well. It'll end, one way or the other. It reeks of profiteering and politics. Profiteering and politics, two things that religions never had anything to do with at all, ever. Uh, okay, um... Now, we're at the Talmberg Quarry, which is there. I'm half tempted to piss off to Scallets, actually. Yeah, let's yeah. do it. Get the uh, loot from under the dovecot that Kunash was talking about that one time. Okay, Pebbles, you can slow down if you want. Hmm. I think that's where I am. Yep. Yeah. Let's have a look at this place. Just because we're here.
do I hunger? I do hunger a little bit. Hello? Is there anybody home? Doesn't look it. It really doesn't look it, does it? Okay. Let's get some lock picking practice. Aha, first try. Ooh, a glass goblet. And more munchies. Ah, huh. oh, nice. Handy save point. I will just rest for an hour. Wake up somewhere completely different. No! Wake up here. Okay. Come along, Pebbles. I will, however, take a moment to gather my shit together and make some more coffee. I'll be back before you even know it. Alrighty. Yeah. Caffeine acquired. someone has a job for me here, it would seem. Good day to you. You live here alone? See, there's not much going on around here. So you've stayed here on your own? Quite so. All by myself. All the others were either killed by the Cubans or fled to Rathay. Yeah, it was kind of fucked up what happened here. I saw the mess they left behind. Savages. It was horrible. People tried to find shelter in the church. But then dogs was waiting. They knew too well that's where folk would try to hide. Where did you hide? By the grace of God, I got my family away into the woods. Well, I don't see your family with you. I hope those bastards didn't sniff them out. No, no. It takes better man than <coughs> them to track me down. I sent my wife to Rate with some others. Do you think folk will ever go back to their homes? Well, I don't know about scallets. But the folk here are sure to want to come back. The only thing they're missing is spiritual support. Do you mean the priest? Indeed. When the land's at war, noblemen fight to protect their property. But simple folk want someone to tend their souls. Of course. But it was the Scalic parish priest who ministered here, wasn't it? He did. But there's been no sign of him since the attack. Or at least he's definitely not in Rathe among the refugees. That's true enough. I didn't see him there. But if you're interested, young fella, maybe you could help us find the priest we need here. Oh, I can ask. I can always ask. But I've really got no idea where to start. I can help with that. A few years ago, there used to be another priest in Scalitz. Simon, I think his name was. Simon. Father Simon. I remember him. 
That's the one who went missing, right? I, I don't want to spread rumours, but they say he was in love with his housekeeper. And then she died somehow, poor thing. That's not a story I've come across. It only reaches folk who care for such tales. Well, to finish the story, Simon left the parish and ran away. You know that already. There was neither sight nor sound of him for a long time. Until this spring, he showed up here. And what's he doing here? <coughs> That's just it. People say he's become a hermit. All right. And where can I find him? I couldn't tell you exactly, but you could start by talking to that girl's parents. Well, they live on a farm nearby, and it's likely they know more. They may even have had words with him. I'll go and see what they have to say for themselves. God go with you, lad, and I pray you find him. If some heathen stabs me in my sleep, I'd rather have a decent burial. Don't worry, I'll bring someone. Let the Lord watch over you. Okay. Um. Way behind scallops. Okay, okay. We can do that. Pebbles the Wonder Horse. Yeah. Could be said because Henry's always wondering if he's gonna ever get a better horse. The answer is maybe. I don't know. Huh. What's this fellow want? Hold it right there. Drop your weapon. And hand over all you. This won't take long. Shit. On again. Well. Yeah. Well then. That's annoying. Speed through this conversation. God be with you. I see that. Quite so. I'm sorry. My older brother. I can see you took your. I did. The cumin. If it were cumins, I'd grab an axe and that would be that. But a week back, some rabble made their way through here. They begged me for food, and mark my words, they weren't taking no for an answer. If they'd been just a tad under it, I swear they would have stormed the cottage. I even talked to him like about that. this. True enough. I saw the map. It was horrible. Yeah. Where did you hide? By the grace of. I don't see your. No. 
Oh, I know what you mean. Indeed. Of course. He did. That's true enough. But if you're interested. I can always help. I've really got. I can help with that. Simon. I. That's not a story. Well, they were. And what? That, well, I couldn't tell you exactly. Well, they live on a. I'll go and see what. Hey, God, go with yeah, you. Don't worry. Yeah. Oh, well. Parents of the priest that used to run things around here. Problem is, I really need to get better at fighting, and there's really and the best way of doing that is to fight. Um, yep, yeah, this is where we want to go. Girl's parents first, then we'll consider Scarlet's. That's the place dead ahead. Oh, beehives. for the priest, Father Simon, and I heard you might know of him. Simon? What do you want him for? I'm looking for the priest who used to take care of St. James, and the locals tell me they saw him around here. I don't know if I can help you there. He'll never go back to his parish if you ask me. Very well. What is it you want to know? What went on between Simon and your daughter? Nothing that hasn't happened before. Our Mary was his housemate in Scallets. She was pretty, very pretty. And he was young, and so things went the way they do between comely young folk. She came back home one day, heavy with child. Yes, these things happen. What can you do? I said as much. I was just glad our girl was provided for. Only she never had the chance to hold that babe in her arms. She didn't live through the birth. I'm very sorry. Such is a woman's lot in life. Men die in battle, and women in the arms of the midwife. And what happened to Simon? The poor man. He took it the worst. He was sure God's wrath smote Mary for her fornication. That's rubbish. People lie together out of wedlock all the time, and God never smites them down. That's just what I told him. But it's hardly my place to lecture a priest. And who knows? Maybe he was right. The Lord moves in mysterious ways. He was overflowing with grief. He barely spoke, didn't eat, refused to take a new housemaid. And then, one fine day, the presbytery was deserted. He took a good season before another priest came along. Where can I find him? He's said to be wandering around here somewhere. I heard that too, and I'm inclined to believe it. 
even though I haven't seen him myself. How come? After our poor Mary went to her rest, we used some of the money he'd paid us to put a cross up by the roadside. And lately, there's been wreaths of comfrey turning up next to it. I don't take them there, nor my husband neither. You think Simon does? Who knows? Maybe it's a miracle. I could believe anything. But there's not been fresh ones for a while, so perhaps he's moved on elsewhere again. I see. Can you tell me where that cross is? Certainly. There are settling tanks for the mines to the west of Scalitz. On the hill above them in the woods, there are several paths. Mary's cross is by one of them, close to the brook. All right. Thanks. I'll be going. Very good, then. And if you do find him, let him know that we have no hard feelings. I'll tell him. God be with you. Okay. <clears throat> now to Scalettes. They are probably not very friendly people, so I'm going to save the game. Oh, we reached a new level in drinking. That's useful. Okay, well, now we know that they're not very friendly at all. It's lasting a lot longer this time. There we go, now he's dead. <coughs> well, I know. The pig turns up willingly for the slaughter. Who's there? Shit.
Let's just avoid them entirely, shall we? After all, those people are not going to be digging shit up from under dovecots. Just gonna murder the people they're killing and piss off. Hopefully. Well, I don't suppose he would have had time to clean his house. Like I said, they've done their murder and just buggered off now. <laughs> Grab that bacon. Money. Oh, moonshine. Okay, looking for dovecots. And then we're digging them up. Suppose we should visit the grave of our parents as well. Since Teresa went went to the effort of making sure they were buried in the proper place. What she says she did.
Well, she did. If she piled them in on top of each other, which good enough, I suppose. Okay. I'll nibble some stolen bacon. Okay. <clears throat> now we can move at a decent pace. <clears throat> ah. I spy a dovecot. It's the wrong one. But I still see one here. It's just where someone buried their old clothes. Nice that there was something there, I suppose. Not sure it'd still be smouldering after all this time, though. It's easily been a few weeks since Henry was here.
It's here. That Kunash wasn't lying. But I know this goblet. It belongs to Beric. And he's still alive. I saw him in Ratai among the refugees, wearing red as always. Now what? Now to hope those bastards have actually gone somewhere and I'm just I'm just hanging around outside. Is a location nearby. Just there, in fact. Occupied by a group of absolute royal bastards. Complete and utter not very nice people. <clears throat> yeah. And the awkward thing is Father Simon goes right through there and gets himself fucking killed because he's a moron. But while I have an abundance of Saviour's Schnapps, I don't mind wandering in and messing up some people's days. makes any difference right now, but it's a nice thing to have. I see someone I'm going to 
hunt down and hopefully murder. Unless he's coming this way. He's coming this way. Shit. Just trying to find the way out is all. And lead you away from your mates. Damn it. That's awkward. Thinking one on one, I might be able to bait one. So I reckon there's at least four of these dudes.
Ha! A nice axe he's got. Too nice an axe he's got. Oh, that dropped him. Well, that works for two of them anyway. Warhammer, yes, please. Yep, can't use that. Can't use that. Can't use that. Okay. Good to know. Barely even scratched. That's nice.
Okay. That's two down of what I believe is possibly four. But it might be as many as five. I don't know. There are definitely two there. And a third. Huh. There you go, there are at least five bastards here. Sorry, royal bastards. I stand by what I said earlier. That's what they are. They are royal bastards. Is that another one? Or did they all just move? It is another. There's four of them left. Shit. This is going to be awkward to accomplish. Not impossible, but awkward to accomplish. Hopefully no one patrols out this way, other than the two that I've already killed. It's looking like that's the case. Excellent. for one, have no issues with murdering these royal bastards in their sleep. Stop being a better archer than me, you bastard.
No mercy, fucko. Too far away though. Let's have a look. I feel like I backtracked a fair bit with him, but not as far as Pebbles. Found him. I think. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take those arrows back if you don't mind. Okay, that's definitely four of them I've put down. The last fellow has gone to bed. I can just stab him neatly in his sleep. That would be nice. Chug another savior schnapps. What are you doing here? 
tired of life. Where the hell did the other bastard go? I'm not sure what happened there. This is horrendously dark, but, um, yeah, not a lot we can do about that. at the wrong time. Shit, I missed. That's unfortunate. Oh, 
I was backed into a horrible situation then. It's not fun. Not fun at all. His mates only just now noticed. Bollocks. I'm very dead. You are. I'm well aware of that, but... There's six. All up, six dudes that live here. That seems excessive to me. But at least this fellow, we can come and... The answer to my prayers. Okay, no we can't. Okay. Chug another save is schnapps. Who's there? <laughs> Tried sneaking up on him. Didn't work. <sighs> Oh! 
Leveled up in defense, that's always good. Strength is a good one. Ah, you're dreaming, mate. Um, the health? No. Sorry, but come back here, you absolute bastard. I'm not letting you live. Ah. <sighs> right. That's all of them. Half a dozen absolute bastards. Dead by Henry's hand. Ooh, heavy battle axe. I'll have that. Thank you. Um, could also do with a bit of a nap. So I will curl up next to this dead body. Why not? He's not going anywhere. I might. But he's not. Okay. Hmm, nothing in there. Huh. Yeah, I moved all right. I have no idea where the hell I am. Oh. <laughs> I sleepwalked home. Henry literally sleepwalked home. That's hilarious. battle axe because it's nearly destroyed. Oh, damn. So is my sword. <sighs> I 
Well. for defense. Perfect block. Well, we won't know exactly when to block from the appearance of a green shield in the middle of the combat rows because you're playing hardcore. So I have grip. Weapon cruncher. I'll go with perfect block though. That. Oh, uh, hang on. No, that's one I've got. So firm grip or weapon cruncher. I think I'll go with Weapon Cruncher. Okay. Now we can only hope that the Scalitz is free of goons. Woken up in some really bizarre locations because of that som somnambulism trait, but yeah. never in my own house before. Yeah. I did go to sleep in Ujits once and wake up in Ratai. That was fun. Uh, yeah. yeah. I suppose now we find Father Simon. turns, we should keep going straight-ish. Um, yeah. Fucking... Yeah. Damn humans! Yeah. Now's not the time, fellas! Really, really not. I mean... Yeah, I'm doomed. <laughs> Bastards. Now I have to kill this sod again.
Didn't that time. Always a good question. Hmm. Where I went to bed, but the bodies disappeared. Okay. Henry's moving corpses in his sleep, that's fine. Something I should have done before. Okay, well this is a mine.
I am going precisely the wrong way, I think. That's the Scarlet Silver Mines. Which is somewhere I don't need to be at all. Nice day for a ride, and unlikely to run into humans and bandits out here. That's always good. Aha. Perhaps. Looking at the wrong bit of map. Okay, okay, fair enough. It's a problem when you can't even see your own location on the damn map because it's hardcore mode. You can't see, you've got no reference. We've got no Henry is here marker. And so Henry could literally be anywhere. But Henry right now is here. Let us take the right hand path. left yeah. I think we're on the right Hey, horsemanship increased. Okay, now is there a river? Or a creek or some kind of waterway here? There is. Trying to avoid murdering pebbles. In fact, let's go the rest of the way on foot. Lots of comfrey up around this area.
Hello, lads. Hey, you. What are you doing here? I've come for Father Simon. I've come for the priest. Simon. There's no one here called that. There is. Do you take me for a fool? All right. <coughs> Maybe there is someone here. What of it? We're not going anywhere. Um, yeah, but the Talmberg guards are after you. I think you should talk less and move your legs more. And why is that? You think you've got what it takes to beat us? I might, but it doesn't matter, because I saw you yesterday, and then stopped by Talmberg to report. So, unless you'd rather wait for Sir Divish's Captain Robard, you should go now. Shit, all right, we'll go. How far are they? Far enough still. If you run, I'm sure you'll get away. Right, right. Thanks for the warning. still want to see if I can find this damn cross because I'm sure it's up here somewhere. Father Simon's safe, he's fine. He'll he'll just sit there for now. But I've never found the damn thing. Not ever. And that bothers me. Hello, Father Simon. Oh, thank you, my son. I was beginning to fear I'd never get out of here alive. They didn't look dangerous. The only thing at risk was your possessions. I know, poor fools. But I was afraid they'd leave me here. What would I have done then? And to whom do I owe my salvation? My name's Henry. You may remember me, I'm the son of the Scarlet Blacksmith. Your face does seem familiar. But listen, Henry, I can't help feeling you didn't stumble across me by accident. It's true. I've come to ask a favor of you. Me? What on earth could I do for you? I need you to go back to St. James. The folk there need spiritual guidance. Scarlet is a burned out shell, and many have died in St. James. They need a priest. Any priest. I understand, but I have to disappoint you. I gave up my calling. Instead, I've given myself over to repentance. I know your story, Father. Then you know what I'm guilty of. Yes, and I don't want to try to make light of it. Your conscience is your own affair. But I know that deep down, you're a good man. You don't know what you're saying. You don't know me. But I know what you did. Many priests break God's commandments willy-nilly and aren't the least ashamed. That doesn't absolve me of my sins. God's law is set, no matter how often it's violated. You're certainly right, but the people need you. And forgive me for being blunt, but while you can leave the presbytery if you choose, it doesn't absolve you of your duty to Christian folk. But I'm a sinner. I'm not fit to guide anyone. I'm unworthy to do so. Priests, bishops, monks, abbots, they're all sinners. Even the Holy Father himself is a sinner. 
You've done your penance, and now your people need you. Well, you're probably right. It is my duty. At least for a time. Until they find someone better. As you said, once things are back in order, there'll be a new priest at St. James, and you can leave if you want. All right. I'll take what I can carry and go back to St. James. Thank you. Your parishioners will be very grateful. Alrighty. Now back to Rovna. Okay. That's Father Simon grabbed. We've got... Well... When he comes through here, he will be perfectly safe now. Because we wiped out everybody here. All the royal bastards that there were. And, uh... So we've got Baron's Cup from Scallets. This is a pretty productive time. I would say. Just need to tell old mate in Rovna that we've solved his religious issues. St. James. I persuaded him to return to live among you, at least for a while. So you found him? Yes. He was roaming the woods around here. Thank God. You'll see. Once there's a priest, people will soon be back. I hope so. I've put together a small sum uh, for a new priest. So I thought uh, a portion should definitely go to you. As a reward. Well, thank you. Thanks. That'll come in handy. You're welcome. The main thing is, we'll have a man of God here with us. 
So, farewell to you. And I hope he gets here soon. Just don't you let him run off again. I'll keep an eye on him myself. Godspeed to you, Henry. And thank you for your help. God be with you. 150 groschen. It's not bad for just grabbing a priest. <coughs> I think for now that'll do. Made plenty of progress. So, farewell for now. <laughs>